Hey, like I said, it's Pastor Brett again. Hey, I just wanted to touch base with you before you uh, all head to bed and before we uh, put an end to this day and start a new one tomorrow. Uh, just a quick word I wanted to give you. Uh, again, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you've been blessed and I hope you've found ways to to pass the time and that you're staying safe and, and being, uh, being responsible and taking whatever um, necessary measures you need to take. But I was thinking today, I just... Um, I wanted to share a word with you from Revelation. We're going to go to the to the end of the Bible today, and uh, it's quite amazing, actually, how many um, how many scriptures, how many uh, moments in, in scripture um, were moments uh, of isolation. Um, you know, some like like last night we talked about how uh, the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness, uh, but in Revelation uh, there's another um, isolating situation where the author John has been exiled, uh, probably by Nero, uh, to an island known as Patmos, and it's while he's in isolation that God gives him this vision, God gives him this word, and and reminds him that no matter what, no matter uh, persecution or, or pestilence or trial or tribulation, in the end God wins, and so that is our hope. And so as John is in isolation, he receives this word, which has become so meaningful for us. And, and I want to share just, just a portion of my favorite part of this with you, because um, this is a word that, that always uh, keeps me going when times are tough. This comes from Revelation 21. I invite you to hear these words. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with people, and God will live with them. They will be God's people, and God himself will be with them. He will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. And then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy, and they are true. Friends, we have a God who is trustworthy. We have a God who is true. We have a God who promises to be with us in the midst of this. May that be our hope tonight. Uh, worship well. I'm going to post a song here, one of my favorite songs about hope, and I hope you enjoy it. hope you um, have a good time with God, and we'll see you soon. Be blessed.